Just like I say, there's no such thing as neutral in the game of life. You're either going up or you're going down. Your business is getting stronger, it's getting weaker. Your health is getting better, it's getting worse. Same thing with communication. Okay, the alternate title of this video was The Biggest Lie Men Tell Themselves or The Biggest Lie in the Personal Development World, um, which is where people tell themselves, I don't care what other people think. That is a filthy lie. And so much of your behavior is based on what other people think because there's no such thing as a neutral communication. Uh, every communication has a reaction, positive or negative. And it's also a lie to think that you should be able to get to a place where you don't care about what other people think. If you truly didn't care what other people think, you'd be able to go take a shit in the street, on the sidewalk, in a Starbucks, and truly feel zero shame, zero fucks given. Um, no guilt, no fear, no shame. All right, that, that's what it would mean to not care about what other people think. Okay, from the way that you dress to the, uh, you know, your style, um, to where you want to live, to the kind of girlfriend or wife that you have, to, you know, the way that your family looks, you know, if you have children or something like that, to the way that you behave, to the types of language that you use. Um, you're constantly modulating yourself. You're constantly uh, conforming to a degree to the, the people that you're with, your influences, your output, um, you know, your environment. And that's not to say that some people, some people certainly care more about others' opinions than others, than other people do. Um, but ultimately, everybody cares um, uh, about about the opinions of other people because at the end of the day, we are in this giant tribe of six billion people, um, and we're social beings as human. And every communication that you both receive and you give out has a positive or negative charge. That's the, the, the thing to understand. And when you're truly being honest with yourself, you want positive communication back, okay? You want to get positive responses back from other people. And some of the best way to do that is to be positive yourself. When you're negative, you will consistently get negative feedback, and you do care about that, okay? Nobody wants to be um, constantly disliked, constantly harassed, um, constantly getting negative energy from people, okay? For example, I don't like people who insult me or leave negative comments straight up. All these guys tell you to ignore the haters. That's good. I mean, I don't, I don't even look at the negative comments. Um, and I can handle a lot of disagreement. I'm a stress camel. I can handle a lot, a lot of negativity. I can handle a lot of stress, more so than the average person, I would say, which is what, what um, contributed to some of my success. Not that I'm the most successful person in the world by any means. Um, but you care about every communication. There's no neutral communication. When you smile and flirt with a girl, you'd rather her flirt back than tell you to go fuck yourself. Or on a lower level, um, her not responding at all. Or on a lower level below that, she's responsive, but she's not really into it, okay? But what you, what you would prefer would be when you're communicating with her that she's smiling and she's flirting back. When you're cheerful to your neighbors and you say, hi, nice to see you, and the guy's just like, eh, right? That's not the response that you wanted. You put out a positive communication, you got a, a neutral communication back. And that, his communication has a reverberation, that has an impact, right? You just liked him a little bit less there. And if he keeps consistently doing that, you're, you're going to dislike him. Because neutral is not enough. Neutral to me is, is a step above negative, but it's still like... If you're just neutral around me, I don't want you in my friend circle. Unless you can agree and amplify. I only want positive people. And I want as much of my communication and inputs to be positive as possible. That includes down to like the restaurant I go to. I go to a restaurant next door um, because it's next door. And they treat me like gold. They're shaking my hands. Everybody knows me. You know, they'll bump a reserve table for me because I'm going in there. I'm tipping well. Um... So I'm going to go to that restaurant and, and if there's any restaurant that I go to and I consistently get negative communication, even like once, um, I'm out of there and neutral to me doesn't really exist. It's just a lesser form of like negative communication. So it's like um, um, energy. Every action has a reaction and every communication that you, you give out, this is the most important thing, has a positive or negative charge and you're constantly looking from for other people from a positive charge. You want other people to think you're good looking. You want other people to think you're successful. You want other people to think that you have a nice looking girlfriend. You want women to think you're attractive. Um, you want people to think that you're a good person. You want to feel 
other people to um, have positive evaluations about your self-image, okay? I'm not saying to get, you know, super caught up in these things, you know, or, or telling you to, like, care more about other people and be, like, more superficial. I'm saying you already care about this stuff as is, you know? And there would be nothing I could do to dissuade you or, or to lie to you and tell you to, to, like, pretend like, you know, it would be easier for you to strip off all your clothes and walk down the street naked. You know, at the end of the day, you care about other people's opinions. 